This is a scary situation, Rick and Court. And this little boy, he's very lucky to be alive tonight. Officials are painting a, an idea of what this shooting looked like earlier. We're told this boy and his family, they're outside of their house. They're getting ready to go to a family dinner when all of a sudden another car pulls up. A passenger in that car gets out, pulls out a gun, and then opens fire on everybody. You can see one of the vehicles being towed here just out in front of that family's house right now. We believe this SUV you see here it may have been struck by some stray gunfire. Neighbors here, they are quite startled. We're told investigators are actively working this neighborhood shooting scene, looking for leads in the case. Witnesses told us this was a drive-by shooting, and many are calling it an absolutely cowardly act, especially since this shooter had no regard for anyone's life. It's unclear who he was targeting, but because he shot a 10-year-old boy uh, in the chest, nonetheless, it, it's, just, it's just it's awful. The gunfire rang out around 2.50 this afternoon in a neighborhood just west of Ganesha High School in the city of Pomona. Specifically, police are calling this the 1100 block of Cornelia Street. And although this may have been a gang-related shooting, according to law enforcement, the person who was shot here, far from a gang member. Officials tell us this 10-year-old boy was struck by a bullet in his chest. Originally, they said he was hit in his shoulder. Now they're telling us he was struck in his chest. Uh, he was rushed to the hospital, not by an ambulance, but by one of his own family members, officials say. They brought him, brought him to Pomona Valley Hospital, and then later he's been now transferred to Children's Hospital in Los Angeles. It is unclear who this shooter was targeting, uh, perhaps another family member, a brother, a father, maybe a neighbor even. Pomona police also, they have not announced any suspects at this time. Witnesses, they tell us they heard an absurd amount of gunshots at the time of the shooting, dozens of gunshots. Oh, I just I was outside my house and I just heard like multiple shots go off. I thought they were fireworks, and we went around the block. I didn't see nothing, so we came back. That's when the street was closed. But I heard about like maybe 24 to 30 shots just going off. I heard like uh, 20 or 25 shots. I was working. I was working at uh, uh, my house, so I came really fast. I, I came really fast out of the backyard, and I saw a white car and then another a black car following each other. Yeah, you heard it right there from a witness. Uh, he saw a white car and a black car. Uh, the exact color not confirmed right now by Pomona police. Uh, they are telling us that they're looking for a small, compact car. They're also looking for surveillance video in this area. The one good thing we can report at all this Rick and Court is that despite this young boy being shot in the chest, it sounds like he is okay. He is in stable condition and will hopefully make a full recovery. The bad news is the shooter, the person responsible, they're still on the loose tonight, and we don't know who it is. No ID at this time, but investigators are on this case. The family is cooperating, and hopefully they'll have whoever is responsible in cuffs before tomorrow morning. Live in Pomona, I'm Steve Kuj, KTLA 5 News. I'll throw it back to you guys for now. All right.